HFO 1234YF is a highly efficient, low global warming automotive air conditioning refrigerant developed to replace HFC 134A and meet the requirements of the European MAC Directive. With a GWP of less than 1, HFO 1234YF more than meets the requirements for a GWP of less than 150. In fact, it has a GWP that is even lower than carbon dioxide. In contrast, the old refrigerant, HFC 134A, has a GWP of 1300. This video will show that the new and old refrigerants behave similarly and safely under even the most extreme conditions and present less risk than many other flammable materials under the hood of a car today. The global warming potential of the new refrigerant 1234YF is 99.9% .9 lower than 134A. The rapid adoption of 1234YF would prevent the emission of the equivalent of hundreds of millions of tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. In Germany alone, converting all cars to HFO 1234YF would be the same as preventing the CO2 emissions from 2.8 billion litres of petrol consumed in one year. We conducted a number of confirmatory tests to compare the flammability of 134A and 1234YF under real-life and simulated driving conditions at our Buffalo Research Laboratory, a world-class R&D centre that has pioneered many environmentally friendly and safe refrigerants over the past several decades. In addition, even more rigorous testing was conducted over more than three years by the world's most respected automotive industry groups, including 18 independent laboratories and research institutes. These tests have already established that 1234YF can be safely accommodated through established industry standards and practices for vehicle design, engineering, manufacturing and service. 1234YF exhibits mild flammability that is significantly lower than some highly flammable materials already in use within cars. We ran a series of tests on these materials, which were mixed with 5% oil and sprayed onto a hot metal plate in aerosol form. The plate is heated from underneath and reaches temperatures at or close to 600 degrees centigrade. What you're watching for is any sign of a flame on the surface of the plate, where the refrigerants are being sprayed. We tested motor oil, and you can see that it burns. Then we tested automatic transmission fluid. It also burns. Radiator antifreeze also burns. Compressor lubricant. Yet another flammable material common in cars that burns. The same is true for brake fluid and diesel fuel. Next we tested what happens with the two refrigerants under similar conditions. You can see the identical outcomes for 1234YF and 134A. Neither refrigerant burns. The smoke you observe is the oil burning off from the mixture. For all fluids already used under the hood in vehicles, including the ones we've seen in this video that are highly flammable, each car manufacturer has defined engineering and design requirements to ensure safe use of these products. In addition, the auto industry has published standards, ISO 13043 and SAEJ 639, that recommend using engineering best practices to manage the risks associated with any automobile refrigerants, including 1234YF. These industry standards are proven and safely used in hundreds of millions of cars worldwide. The next test shows what happens when the refrigerant leaks into the engine compartment and comes into contact with hot metal surfaces. We conducted a series of engine runs to identify the highest temperature location in the engine compartment. We did that using infrared thermometry and then placed thermocouples at the highest temperature location. We installed a valve in the refrigerant line to direct the refrigerant leak to that location. We tested both refrigerants, the current product 134A and the new low global warming product 1234YF. As you can see in the video, as the refrigerant leaks out into the hot metal surface, a white cloud of smoke is formed. The smoke was analysed and found to be oil. It's the same result for both refrigerants. There are no flames. These tests confirm what extensive third-party testing has already shown. The 1234YF is safe for use in automobile air conditioning systems. 
We cannot afford to lose the environmental benefits from 1234YF that so many others have worked so hard to gain. HFO 1234YF can be used safely as an automobile refrigerant, and it's ready for use by the industry today. To learn more, visit www.1234facts.com or www.1234facton.de. When we think of the five-year plan, the growth strategy will continue to evolve with our great portfolio. Sales over the next five years will be growing four to six percent, so that we should add seven to twelve billion, getting the forty-six to fifty-one, and you'll see a lot of it just coming from 